Hello everybody. So today we're going to talk about the Season 5 patch notes and we're just going to talk about Cauterize. Um, I can't really play the game right now because holiday stuff, um, but I played two games on PTS and uh, it was not, it, it wasn't the play. So two things that aren't related to Cot. first of all. Um, if I can count, we got gem borders back, which I don't think I've seen anyone talk about, like gold, plat, diamond, masters, gem, right? So that's cool. And then they also talked about um, buffing, or is it buffing the support grok playstyle that made no changes to spirits domain, which makes me very sad. But the main thing that we want to talk about is cauterize. So these caught changes are going live. They're not related to the schism schism thing, um, which I did try, and it's weird. It's going to be like almost impossible to balance, uh, but it seems like fun as a casual mode. Some of the new items are interesting, some aren't. Uh, if you're interested in what it actually looks like, I think Infernal, Infernal Drogos has a video up on it, and yeah, I won't be making a video on it because it's, you know, I, I can't really right now. All the videos that are coming out over the next like week or two are, are, are pre-scheduled. So, as the resident caught guy, right? Like, let's let's go over this. So, we're gonna just break down like what's actually in the in the paragraphs here. So, uh, cauterize has been required for a match to feel normal, um, which is yep, that's true. Um, then we do not believe that cauterize is uh, healthy, uh, regardless of anti heal. So this I don't get. I do not understand why they are changing cauterize. I do not understand why cauterize is unhealthy. In my opinion, right, the, the game is fun with cauterize. So if the game is fun, how is it unhealthy? Like I get that you have, you, you pretty much have to buy cauterize, right? And that could be unhealthy, but even if it's theoretically unhealthy, it's practically fun, right? So, so like why does that matter? So I'm not really sure why they think it's like they're changing it because they think it's unhealthy, but I'm not sure on why they think it's unhealthy. Why they think it's unhealthy, right? Um, so they want supports to still feel good, um, and then want a healthier power curve. So that makes sense, right? So basically, the way it works, um, can't buy Cauteras anymore, and now it you get it for free. Um, you get Cauteras for free. You don't have to level it up and it increases to 90% over the course of the game. Uh, the rate of the scaling will vary on the game mode being played. Um, for Siege, it is it starts at 25%, then it increases at a rate at 5% per minute. So that means that you'll have 90% cauterize uh, at 13 minutes. Um, this, this seems reasonable. Uh, it feels like they're going for a caught one, round one, caught two, round two, caught three, round three sort of thing. This is a buff to supports because usually people have caught three at round two. And now supports are also able to have cauterize. So basically, they get a free item. Everyone is basically getting a free item, but supports never got to have cauterize before, and now they do. And then caught is also happening later. Um, so supports, you know, should feel fine it does go to 90 percent now which by the way let's go dude it's finally here um but since supports don't have the the burst that they used to when 90 percent caught was a thing it'll probably be harder once 90 percent caught actually does come online so the the whole like overall healthier power curve thing right um that makes sense because you're getting caught three round two and that's like a little weird but the main issue that people are talking about with this, right, that I agree with, is like the reason that it's unhealthy, I feel like the reason that Hi-Rise feels that Cauterize is unhealthy, right, is because you're basically forced to buy it. You are basically forced to buy Cauterize if you want to play Balance. There is zero reason why this problem doesn't just shift over to other items. Because like if you don't have to buy Cauterize, there are other items that you want right now, right? You want Reco, you want Rizal, and it's not like those other items weren't mandatory either. Like, if the other team had a Fernando, you were buying Wrecker. If the other team had a Grover, you were buying Rizal. So, the problem might just shift to other items. 
there's also less depth, right? There are fewer decisions to be made, um, like for items. It's easier to buy everything you need if you need fewer things. Um, and then provision, which is uh, this item. It's a bit buggy on PTS right now. Uh, it's garbage, especially for how expensive it is. So that's not great. And also, um, this this rate here. Um, this is going to be extremely important to get right. Again, it seems like they did get it right, but I mean, we'll see. Um, if it comes on too early, then throughput supports um, are basically going to disappear. You're going to see a lot of aggressive stuff, a lot of stuff focused on utility. Um, if it comes too late, we're going to get like def ball, double support nonsense again. So it's it's risky. This method of the item increasing with time also could lead to some weird things where getting overtime is potentially a bad play if your comp skill is worse. Um, it also means that like it might feel bad, right? If you have to wait for cauterize, there's nothing you can as a player do about that. But with like buying the item, you know, that, that was more under your control. And stuff like life rip and life steal is going to be uh, really, really good early game. Um, it also straight up like makes the game more casual. It removes some depth and it makes the game uh, a little bit easier. But overall, right? Um, here's my prediction. I don't think much changes. I think that you're going to see more item variety on some tanks, probably a bit more yellow items. And then once you do have those items, you'll have more options for filler items like. Right now you can get like Nimble or Veteran, but in Season 5 you can get both if you want. But I do think that we are going to see like new mandatory items. Like Wrecker and Resilience for sure, maybe Master Riding and Haven, and then support items aren't changing at all. So we'll get the same problem, but with Wrecker and Rezo. What will Evil Mojo do when we get those problems? Like if Anando rolls out first mid and the other team has three Wreckers, they're maxed out by the end of round one. An Atlas rolls out the first mid and the other team has four Resilience 2s and they're maxed by the end of the first mid fight. Like this worries me a little bit because it's the exact same problem that I think they're trying to solve. So alongside whatever impact the individual balance changes have, that again I'm not super going to get into, um, other people are probably going to talk about them. I don't, I can't really test them. So, But alongside whatever impact those have, we're going to see weaker shields because you're going to be buying Wrecker, you're going to see weaker CC because you're going to be able to buy Rezo. You see beefier DPS with Haven. And all those sorts of things combined mean that you're going to see very aggressive stuff get played. So you're going to see more utility supports, stuff like Corvus. Corvus is going to be stupid under this system. Um, but you're going to see like more utility-based supports and throughput supports. It's probably going to be fine, but they're probably not going to be like meta but like we'll, we'll see about that the question at the end of the day is like is this going to be more fun i don't think that this change is impactful enough to matter i think at the beginning it'll just feel like paladins then like you know stuff will change stuff will evolve people will figure stuff out con will probably disappear for a little bit k currency will achieve a 90 percent win rate with colonel Street, half shell makoa and corvus will just never get through bans ever and like we'll get a meta right will always get some sort of meta after these sorts of patches. And how fun that meta is will depend on like what that meta is. It's not going to depend on what caused it. And meta predictions are a lot harder. Um, it's almost definitely going to be one of two extreme options. Either Death Ball survives and just wins the game instantly before 13 minutes comes up, or it doesn't. And the tools to survive stuff, right, the shield, scaling, CC, that stuff is going to fall off earlier, so you run aggressive stuff that doesn't rely as much as on uh, on items. I would prefer an aggressive meta as long as supports aren't pockets, but who knows what we're going to get, right? Overall, I'm more positive about this change than negative, and I think that it has a higher chance of being more fun once it gets uh, ironed out a little bit. However, I have absolutely zero trust that they will execute this well because of their previous history with the item store changes and their lack of either understanding or explanation of the issues of the current item store. So yeah, it's it's definitely interesting, but I don't know, man. I, I don't trust them to, to handle it well. So hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you all next time. 
Bye bye.